This presentation provides an overview of the Victorian Auditor General's report, Results of 2017 Audits, Universities. This report outlines the results of the financial audits of the Victorian public university sector for the year ending 31 December 2017. We comment on findings of the internal control frameworks at the universities and the financial sustainability of the sector. We also discuss the adequacy of asset maintenance policies and practices in the sector. There are eight public universities in Victoria, which collectively control 50 associated entities that we are required to audit. The universities are regulated under both state and Commonwealth legislation. Their main activities are providing higher education to local and overseas students and conducting research activities. As at the date of our report, the audits of nine controlled entities are still in progress. Of those completed, we have issued 47 clear opinions. Consistent with prior years, we qualified two audit opinions for Deakin University and the University of Melbourne due to their revenue recognition practices. Most of the universities finalised their reports in a timely manner. Only Victoria University did not meet the statutory deadline for finalising their financial report. We commend the universities for streamlining their financial reports this year. We found the readability of the financial reports for the sector has improved as a result. Looking ahead, the sector will be required to implement changes to the accounting for their revenue streams, and in particular, the accounting for their research grants, as a result of new accounting standards, which are due to take effect from 1 January 2019. The implementation of these changes will require a great deal of work for the sector overall, but we do commend the universities for the proactive action that they have taken to date in preparing for this change. We also found that, during 2017, universities overall had adequate internal controls in place to ensure the production of reliable financial reports. However, we identified 37 new medium and low risk internal control issues during the year. The sector also has 13 issues unresolved from prior audits. The most significant area for improvement relates to IT control environments. Weaknesses in these control environments increase the risk of fraud or errors going undetected. The sector continues to be financially sustainable, posting a strong net result in 2017 supported by growing student numbers. Government grants still make up almost half of the sector's revenue base, but in comparison to the national average, Victorian universities are beginning to rely less on Commonwealth funding and more on fees from international students to sustain their operations. We found that Victoria University and Federation University Australia are starting to show indications of financial sustainability risks. The universities generally have large reserves of cash and other financial assets and are able to self-fund their capital projects. However, by leveraging cheap debt and actively managing its investments to get higher returns, the sector has been able to bolster its surplus, further reducing its dependence on government funding. Despite this, the sector does not rely heavily on debt funding when compared with the national average. The university sector held $15 billion of property, plant and equipment at the end of 2017. These assets are critical to the delivery of the university's operations. It is important that universities have an effective asset maintenance framework in place to keep these assets in a condition that allows them to operate safely and effectively. We found that most universities had developed an asset maintenance framework with most of the better practice elements we expected to see. However, two universities, Victoria University and Federation University Australia, had weaker frameworks. We found that one university, RMIT, had a better practice framework in place, and the report provides a closer look at how they implemented their asset management strategy. We made one recommendation to the university sector to strengthen their asset maintenance frameworks. We have created a data dashboard an interactive visualisation tool summarising the financial statement data for all Victorian universities. You can find the dashboard on our website. For further information, please see the full report of this audit on our website, 
www.audit.vic.gov.au.